Welcome back everybody and I'm going to do a little video about how I've been working on my can rotation system. I think I did a video of where we were talking about doing like meat based products, fruits and vegetables, and then soups. A little bit has changed but I was trying to still hold to that same basic principle but kind of tweaked a little bit and I'm going to go over some of that with y'all. Is down here we're doing peanut butter honey back there in the back on the shelf pasta based products and then a can then a, a shelf for pasta based products so we'll pull out of here put in here pull out we decided to dedicate one of these shelves to like spam potted meat vienna sausages just your high sodium pro meat based products have some beans tamales and chili and then refried beans these are like a dollar a can i'm not trying to promote toggle bell but these are one of the cheapest ones that we can find on the refried beans while going through our pantry we realize that we've overbought on certain things like we have two of these rotation systems for corn and then we had this right here for corn went through our pantry found that we had a whole bunch of more corn in there that we hadn't been organizing brought in here put inside the second rack soups now from the first video I remember me talking about having first aid kits really easy to have real easy to grab real easy to find this has been left dedicated to bandages first aid kit soup we're stockpiling like baking stuff before the holidays hits because it's pumpkin pie filler and this cherry pie filler gets a little difficult to find around Thanksgiving and Christmas. We caught these soups on sale, 10 for a dollar, bought up a whole bunch of those. 10 for a dollar, grabbed a bunch of those. 10 for a dollar, grabbed a bunch of those. My wife likes this tomato soup, so we grabbed it while it was on sale. My son asked for these two shelves, so I was like, okay, we where well, you can have those. Down here we have Food in Mylar bags. That tub there is full of oats, rice, beans, fish and stuff. No, super pale. That's right. Super pale of oats, super pale of uh, pinto beans, miscellaneous Mylar bags inside the blue tub. Uh, super pale, super pale, 20 pound bag of rice waiting to go inside of Mylar bags. I don't know what's it. Fish and stuff. More camping stuff underneath there. Okay, we put this system here on the back of the door. See how it's going to work out. I'm trying to put only plastic stuff on here so in case it falls, it's not going to break. Mayonnaise, relish, tartar sauce, probably mustard, ketchup, stuff like that. In here, we have the Mountain House food, number 10 cans. These are the just in case from prepared.pro who recently had a big sale so if you're looking for 10, uh, number 10 cans you may want to go check out them or these seven year pouches this is where I'm <laughs> we're keeping a lot of our glass stuff in here away from the grandkids that we have the canned goods out here let's say a grandkid comes up here drops it well you know it's, it's metal it's not going to break it may bend like that right there but it's not going to break if we have a jar of the olives out here, well, grandkid comes up here, ooh, olives, picks it up, drops it, shatters everywhere. Then we've got a mess. So we're trying to keep the glass containers in here away from the grandkids. We found these pickles. Uh, store brand, store name pickles, 10 for a dollar. Grabbed a whole bunch of those. The problem that I'm having is keeping my canned goods organized is that I've got this little shelf in the local China Mart this part here slides out got a whole lot of like spaghetti sauce to go with the pasta that I've got in the Mylar bags got a whole bunch of pickles ragu stuff like that so I'm just still trying to work on this some more fish and supplies but one of y'all in my last video made a comment about the boat seat being out of place I was like going sleeping bag sleeping bag boat seat sleeping bag well the boat seats in here because I, I do not want to keep it in the shed 
rodents may tear into it and tear it up. So I'd rather keep it in here where it's safe and sound. The extra stove. All right, guys and gals, that's about it. I just wanted to show y'all what changes have been made to the can rotation system since the last video. And that's it. The uh, noodles, we stack the extra stack the extra cans up here, pull them off, put them here. These little niblets are too small to run through the rotation system. That's about it. Soups, fruits and vegetables, protein-based products, Mylar bags, and Super Pails. Alright guys, I'll keep y'all updated.